Basketball Tips and Drills Greetings all ballers out there. We've all been wanting to up our game for a while now. Hitting those three-pointers and acing those dunks is a dream for a lot of us. Today, we'll look into some tips and drills that will take your basketball skills to the next level. Improve your shooting. The best shooters in the game train themselves by doing extraneous amounts of work and repetitions that help build muscle memory. Muscle memory allows you to not think about the movements you're doing because it's natural for your body after so many repetitions. You can do this by laying on your back and going through your shooting motion. To start, lay down on your back, raise your arms into a shooting position, and shoot the ball straight up in the air. Make sure to focus on your follow-through from your elbow all the way through the tips of your fingers. Flick your wrist and follow the ball to roll off the tips of your fingers on your shooting hand. Use your offhand to guide the ball and not to shoot it. Your goal is to shoot the ball with a good backspin so that it lands right back in your hands. Working on your ball handling. Ball handling is essential to improve your playing technique. Take a tennis ball and pass it back and forth between your hands, moving it around your body and through your legs or dribbling. Put a basketball inside a plastic bag. That'll make it slippery and the knot where the bag is tied will make it unpredictable and bounces. Handling the ball in such conditions will test your reflexes. Visualization. Think of yourself being part of a match. Now visualize yourself in certain complex situations in the match and decide what should be done to take your team to victory. You can walk in your driveway and pretend that there are three seconds left in a game and you have the last shot. Taking decisions and coming up with strategies under pressure is an efficient way to learn the game. Box drill. Start in one corner of the court. Make two inside out moves before the half court. At half court, making sure you're still on the sideline, make a spin dribble. Change hands and dribble across the midcourt line. At midcourt, make a pullback crossover. Just before you get to the opposite sideline, make a half spin move. Do it all at speed. Next time, go faster. At the opponent's sideline, make a behind-the-back move and head for the elbow on the same side of the court that you started on. At the elbow, make a hesitation and crossover move and finish with a layup. Dribble with your weak hand. Remember to practice dribbling with your weak hand until you can handle the ball as effectively with either hand. While dribbling, put your head up, not down, so that you can see what's happening around you. Make sure to dribble as fast as you can while still keeping control of the ball. Jumping. Your ability to jump is vital in every aspect of the game, be it blocking shots, collecting rebounds, or shooting. Doing vertical jump training is the best way to go about it. Remember, the goal is to reach as much height as you can while controlling your balance and landing posture. Getting in the weight room to improve strength. Working out is essential to improve your game. Getting stronger will allow a player to pull down more rebounds, fight better for position, nudge off opponents, and much more. The body will also be more resistant to injuries. Apart from everything above, the most important thing you can do to up your game is to treat your training like a doctor's appointment. Don't miss training and stay as consistent and persistent as you can. That's the only way to Kobe your way into that net. Don't forget to tell us about your basketball stories in the comments below. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.